Simple ADSR by Blue Lantern Modules. Hello, and welcome to this video on Blue Lantern Modules Simple ADSR Envelope Generator version 2. In this video, we'll be doing a general overview of all the knobs, ins, outs, switches, features, and everything, as well as looking it through an oscilloscope and some patch examples. Let's get on with it. Here we have our attack, decay, sustain, and release knobs, which you would expect from a simple ADSR. Then we also have a time knob, which controls the time of all four of these together, from short to long. Then we have a gate input, a gate through, which is very handy, and two identical outputs of the envelope, which is also very handy. And this is where the module gets beyond simple, in my opinion. We have an overall level output for the amplitude of the envelope. Then we have CV control with its own attenuator for that output. So we basically have a built-in VCA for this envelope. You'll notice here that all the inputs on Blue Lantern modules have a white circle around them and the outputs do not. Next, we have a switch here that switches the envelope between linear and exponential falloff. And then we have our one-shot envelope, our gate-activated loop, and our loop, which we will get into shortly. Here we have a typical East Coast style patch with the envelope affecting the filter cutoff and opening up the VCA. And we can see our attack, decay, sustain, and release. And we can see here now how the time affects it. Right now, it's a little bit longer, but we can see when we turn it shorter, how it shortens everything. It doesn't change the sustain, though. And it goes to very short. Too very long. Now we could show you how long this actually goes. So it's really quite a long envelope. Now let's take a look at the exponential which is a bit more interesting than you would expect. So we can see the fall off is curving downward like we would expect with the decay and the release. But the attack is not acting similar to the rise with exponential in maths where it would go up like this. It's actually going upwards like this, giving it more of a logarithmic curve actually. And the exponential can actually go about just as long as the logarithmic. It just goes a little quieter faster. Let's take a look at the loop and then we'll circle back to the gate activated loop. Okay, to go into this mode, we just put the switch all the way to the right. And right now, I just have, I have all the, these two knobs down and I just have the attack and decay and it's acting as a simple rise and fall for this LFO wave. I could adjust the time, which goes from long to audio levels. And then we have the sustain, which dramatically changes the shape of the wave. So you can see here it kind of aids, it brings it to a kind of a shark tooth wave. And if I bring it all the way up, it brings it to almost a square wave. Then we have our release time. Let's put the sustain in the middle so we can see all the stages of it. And then we add our release time. And we have our four stage 
LFO. And then to make it extra interesting, we bring our sustain all the way down. And then our release time turns into a separator between those waves. And you can see here, once I bring this to audio levels, you can look at the wave, and you can see here how when I even have my decay all the way down, there is, when I have everything all the way down, absolutely down and only the sustain up we have a very very short gate of that sustain so it is one of the stages of this envelope but we could see, and we could see here how the sustain dramatically changes the shape and the sound of it, when, especially when we get into more audio levels. And now let's bring it to the gate activated loop. Let's play our sequence again real quick. It'll sound crazy with this uh, audio level. Now to play with the CV level, what I like to do is throw a negative voltage into it. Right now I have a negative envelope coming from maths, giving it a kind of wobble effect. Here I may have the looping again and playing with CV input here. And we could actually do a nice syncopated rhythms with it as well. And since this envelope could go exponential, it's also great for percussive envelopes. Here I'm using it as a hi-hat. I make you get a little bit more slidey by adjusting the attack here. But I have a good, I think I have a good hi-hat hit here. And now we can play with the CV level where I have a negative voltage coming in on each whole note. And then here's the hi-hat without the CV. And that is all for the Blue Lantern module simple ADSR envelope generator. 
Overall, I think it's a great module. It is 7 HP. It's under 100 US dollars. It's an awesome envelope generator. You can go from really short to really long envelopes, um, linear to exponential with that hint of logarithmic in there, as we saw. Dual outputs, it has that through output. Um, the only thing I wish it had was CV control over this time knob, especially when we get into that audio range. And then I wish the gate output when we were in the loop mode would act as an LFO reset. That would be extra awesome. Right now it's just disabled, as well as the through. I wish the through output in loop mode would give us a trigger each time the loop resets. But other than that, an awesome module. And we'll catch you next time with some more Blue Lantern modules.